Um, how did we get to Dumaguete from here? Here you had to ride a yellow bus. Okay. And then you had to stop in Luluan Port. From Luluan Port, ride a ferry going to Sibulan Port. Then from Sibulan Port, ride a tricycle going to Dumaguete. Dumaguete. Okay. Is there any other way or is that just the only way? Just the only way. Okay. Alright. Why, why did we catch the bus? Like, the bus? Yeah. Why, why did we catch it? Uh, just in the main street now. It's going south. So we're just trying to figure out how to get to do Maggetti. We were supposed to come to Oslo to do the whale shark, which we done yesterday. And then that we was going to do uh, to Malag Falls. But because it's very hot and it's dry season at the moment, apparently there's not a lot of water. Normally it costs you an entry fee, but we're not charging anyone to go to the falls. And it's not safe to swim in, so we're not going to bother going there. We're just quite disappointing because the waterfall is supposed to be really, really beautiful. Sometimes it's quite difficult to get around the Philippines because obviously there's not a lot of... Uh, international tourists at the moment so the uh, the transportation and everything is not easily guided so you have to just ask around and have a really look around it online it's about 7 15 and we just checked out our hostel we stayed at new village lodge if you're catching the uh serious bus the yellow line bus uh, just ask the driver to drop you off in Oslo by the public market and the bus stop is literally about three minutes walk from the hotel. It's a family local owned business and the people there are really really nice. The dad had just dropped us off at the um, whale sharking. So we waited about nearly two hours for the bus for Dumaguete and Jay tried to flag one down and he just drove straight past us. So, uh, we met one of the local teenager when we got into the Oslo and he showed us where to go for our place and he met us again at the bus stop and he was saying that like because the bus to Dumaguete from Cebu City is so infrequent it normally gets really really packed um, in Cebu City and people don't usually get top between Cebu City and Dumaguete they go straight to Dumaguete yeah so the only option was we had to catch the bus from Oslo to Luulan we caught a ferry from there to Subulan and then we just caught the tricycle from the Subulan port to Dumaguete City so it took about 2 hours and 30 minutes if you're taking this route make sure when you get to Subulan there's loads of tricycles make sure you just have a walkabout and just bark in because they're trying to rip you off straight away from the port like we got asked for like 150, 100 so we walked a little bit off the port and the guy we said how much and he said 60 so I mean you shouldn't really be paying more than 60 or 70 to be honest it's only like 15, 20 minutes away we are staying at a pension house I don't know what, what pension house is it's really popular in the Philippines I don't know if it's a guest house or like a local hotel motel are you found it? Dumaguete itself, it's a pretty much a university town. It's full of students. It's pretty well developed here, which is pretty nice because I'm running out of money and I need an ATM machine. So we just ordered some desserts. I've got, um, it's called Halo Halo. It's like a Filipino dessert. Just ice cream on top, some cornflakes, shaved ice and some like jellies and other toppings at the bottom and some evaporated milk and Jay just got the standard um, banana split but it looks good that this was 60 and that was 55 53 so not too bad so we just got back and this is our room key it looks pretty like it so I me and Jay went for dinner at a place called Joe's Chicken in Ato restaurant it's just like a barbecue chicken place 
We went there and chicken and the food was okay. We felt the price was a little bit expensive um, compared to the food. I mean, the food was good, but it wasn't like really, really good. And the price was like a 96, nearly 100 peso per meal. And for that price, I mean, you can get a lot more if you just like, you know, get the street stalls um, chicken. I think we're in a rush to go back there again. Tomorrow we gotta be at the hostel, at the Harold's Mansion hostel at 6.45. So we're gonna be up tomorrow early and we've got a whole day of snorkeling at the Apple Island. Now we're just watching the TV. I'm just trying to um, edit some vlogs. So yeah, that's about it for tonight.